Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, citizens of heaven, and welcome to Kingdom Living Prayer and Devotion with your girl, Wendy Miller. We're up on this Tuesday morning, giving praise, glory, and honor to God, glorifying God, telling God thank you for everything that he's done for us, for watching over us last night, for protecting us from the hand of the enemy. It is Tuesday morning, November the 8th. The November the 8th. I'm about to say November the 11th. I'm trying to help you Friday here. <laughs> November the 8th. And I welcome you again for viewing this channel. I, I don't normally ask, but those that are watching this video, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. You know, so I see a lot of views, no likes, no nothing. So give a little girl some love. Let me know you know. Let me know that you enjoying the videos, okay? So give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, it's 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 communicating back to the um to the video and to me as your host. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We come this morning, Lord God, glory find your holy name, Lord God. We magnify your holy name this Lord this morning, Lord God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us spiritual blessings in heavenly places through Christ Jesus. We thank you this morning, Lord God. We thank you for being a miraculous God, a marvelous God. God, a wonderful God, a faithful God, a God of, that's loyal, that's gracious, that's merciful. God, we thank you this morning, and we thank Jesus Christ for being our Lord and Savior, our deliverer, our, our way maker, our way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, we thank you this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for continuing to guide us, direct us, bringing back things to our remembrance that is in the word of God. We thank you this morning, Lord God, and we come repenting of our sins this morning, oh Lord God. We come, Lord God, laying our sins down, oh Lord God. Any and everything that's not pleasing in your sight, Lord God, we lay down in the mighty name of Jesus, and we run, Lord God. We run, oh Lord God. God, to your heavenly throne in the mighty name of Jesus this morning Lord we thank you Lord God as we glorify your holy name Lord God glory hallelujah thank you Lord God as we receive the abundance of grace and through and the gift of righteousness that reigns in our life through one man who is Jesus Christ oh Lord God Lord God, thank you for being merciful to us and blessing us and letting your face to shine upon us that we may be that we may that you that your way may be known, Lord God, upon the earth and your saving health upon all nations, oh Lord God. We thank you this morning, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, as we walk in the light, for you are in the light, Lord God, and we fellowship with one another, oh Lord God. And the blood of Jesus Christ, which is your son, Lord God, cleanses us of all of our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all, this morning. God gave me a word last night, y'all. And when I tell you, it was a good word. So I'm definitely going to share it this morning. And I pray that everything is going well with you so far this morning. And that God, like I said, allow his angels to come and rest upon your your bedside last night to protect and watch you over the, <laughs> over this uh, enemy last night, honey. Because that thing will get to try to work hard throughout the midnight hour. Okay? So let's go into this. Um, let's go into this good word that God uh, has given me last night. Cause I don't want this video to be too long. Heavenly Father, I ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to speak through me this morning, Lord God. As I hear pastors say, Lord God, I decree myself and I increase you that lives inside of me, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. This morning, y'all. When I tell you, I'm gonna have to go ahead and mute this because this thing was so good. I'm gonna bring it down low. This thing was so good last night. God is listen. We serve a uh, a God that loves all type of music. You know what I'm saying? Now he might not love some of that hardcore hip hop stuff. And I'm not, I don't really know, but I'm just saying. I know that he loves R&B. I know that God listens to everything. He sees everything. He hears everything. He is such an awesome God that we serve, y'all. When I tell you, when I was in prayer last night. Anyway, so let me get out this word because I want to get too excited and then time get to ticket on this video anyway let me tell you so the word that's coming forth this morning is resting in god okay okay he told me he said as we rest 
in God. As we move forward into the new, we need to rest in God. As we move forward in, in and with God, rest in his presence. Rest in his trusting in the process and trusting in God as he takes us through takes takes us through to this new uh season in our lives moving forward okay trusting in god we're going to psalms 37 and 7 37 and 7 and it says rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass god says rest in his process don't worry about what the wicked are doing don't be looking and seeing what the wicked are doing and getting upset and and, and try to get ahead of the process and the and the rest in god as we move forward you keep your eyes on god you rest in god Okay, trust in his process. This is what this rest is. Trusting in God in the process and the way things are going. Don't worry about what you're seeing, what the wicked is doing. Because see, this is what people do. They take their eyes off God as they're moving forward and, and see the wicked prospering more than they think that they are. And then they get out of line. And you start, you go from resting to working. And God wants us to rest as we move forward during this time in this new season in our life. Remember, Joshua and them went and took over the new land. The people had to forget about their old ways of doing things. They had to leave the past and come to the future. Remember what I said yesterday? You have to have a short memory of your past and a broader uh, vision of your future. You better be able to see close. I mean, uh, see clearer for your future than in a short memory for your um past. Okay, we said that yesterday. Okay, he said, don't allow anyone or anything to disturb disturb your peace or groove in Christ Jesus. When I got this part right here, y'all, God said, don't. Don't let no one disturb your groove. I start to name it that, but it's about resting. But he said, don't let no one disturb your groove. And guess what? That song came to me. Don't disturb this groove. That song by the system. Ain't that something? By the system. It's an old song that say, don't disturb this groove. And as soon as you turn on that, I was like, let me listen to this song. As soon as I turned on this song, it said, I'm in heaven. I was like, what? Okay, anyway, so that was that was the, that was that was shocking to me, but that lets me know God, you know, listens to old songs and, and he loves all kind of music and stuff like that. We serve a mighty God. God said, hang the sign outside your door. Don't disturb this groove. That's where you at. I it's the, the song says I'm in heaven. That's the beginning of the song. So God said, This is a place that He wants you to be in Him, resting. A place you are in, in God, resting. I'm in heaven, resting. <clears throat> I'm not a singer, you know. <laughs> I like to sing, but hey, I'm just saying, resting in God, okay? So then it says, don't be moved or shaken uh, by anything. Peace is our, our, is the artillery. Our artillery, our weapon that we're using as we're resting when the enemy comes to attack us in our restful place in Christ is going to be peace and he he took me to mark 439 when it talks about God is telling the storm peace be still okay peace be still it said God rebuked the wind God rebuked the rain he rebuked the wind and the rain rebuking is for spirits Okay, so but God rebuked the wind, God rebuked the rain, and he said, peace be still. So peace is the artillery. Peace is our weapon. In Ephesians 6, we put on, we shun our feet in the peace of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So peace is not only a, a armor, it can be artillery, it can be used as a weapon in the mighty name of Jesus. He says resting in peace is normally used, it's re-resting in peace. That's what he said, we're resting in peace. You know, you normally don't hear that word unless you're dead. Rest in peace, R-I-P. But God says, we. this is normally used for, for the deceased. In this case, you are dead in your flesh. Dying of our flesh as we rest in God. It says that to your flesh. So we are resting in the peace that in, that's in Christ. That Christ has given us. The battle is already won. God got it. Remember that. God got it. The battle is already won. Rest in peace today. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're not dead. You know walking. But you're dead of your flesh, of the attacks that the enemy brings to you. And you pick up your artillery, which is going to be peace. 
to fight against the enemy. Don't disturb my groove is the word <laughs> that God threw in there. And rest in peace of Christ Jesus. I pray that y'all have a blessed day. And if no one tells you today, I love you with the love of Christ. And Jesus Christ loves you more. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a very, very blessed day.